What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back, Texas All Water Fishing. I am Ruben. I want to appreciate, I want to thank each and every one of you. I appreciate you for clicking on this video and coming to check out what I have going on today. Well, today I am back in the kayak. Uh, first love is kayak fishing. And uh, don't do it as much as I like to. And uh, if you're into kayak fishing, then I apologize for that. Trust me, it feels up to me. I'll be in my kayak a couple days a week. Uh, today we're going to be targeting some redfish. I'm going to... I'm really gonna look at redfish. I have a, I have a voodoo shad tied on right now. Uh, in case you're not familiar with voodoo shad, excellent, excellent bait. I really love these guys. They come in clutch. Also fishing with a sugaili. This is a 1,000 sugaili. I have it on a cast cane rod, and no, this is not the rod I want to pair it with. I got another rod coming in, but I, I, I got the sugaili. Um, got on you app. This app that. Uh, Probably been a while for a little probably been around for a little while you might be familiar with it's called timu uh it's pretty inexpensive stuff man they got some inexpensive stuff they got some great stuff on it too not just for fishing but for the house for the wife for the kids uh automotive ton to ton of stuff gardening stuff they got it's kind of like amazon where it's just a bunch of stuff but uh with amazon you know you pay for the convenience of delivery uh typically uh, you know, th it's not gonna be as fast as delivery as Amazon, but it's not like you're waiting for weeks and weeks and weeks for this to come in. Uh, I haven't had any issues with delivery yet, but um, I wanted to test it out and try it a few times, and I've done that. My wife's is like almost addicted to this thing. My son loves this app as well. He's buying all kind of stuff, very inexpensive, very affordable stuff, and so I bought that reel. So 1,000, Sugaili, uh, inexpensive. I wanted to test it out. I wanted to go with the lighter reel. I wanted to go with lighter line. And I wanted to test out the casting capability of fishing with the lighter reel and fishing with the lighter line. Typically, I like to use around a 2,000 to 4,000 reel. And I will go from anywhere from 25 to 40 pound leader line. So i think this is 15 pounds uh braided line i said leader line i meant main line but i think this is 15 pounds um main line and i want to test the casting ability um but check out timu you haven't if you don't know about timu download the app today i did join the affiliated program i mean you know these nowadays every little bit helps if you download the app use the make a purchase within like your first hour and you get a coupon bundle you say 50% off I make a little bit I'm not gonna lie I do make a little bit um, with their affiliated program but um, it's not much so if you do decide to download the app then make sure you uh, check them out before you download the app see if that's something you're interested in and then uh, be ready to make a purchase that way you can you can save a little money too but we are on the water it is hot 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 summer summertime days so it's gonna be like super hot and I'm seeing shad blow up on the grass line jump all over the grass line a little bit I'm Trying to ignore that because I'm trying to get over here to this spot um, That I really really want to target the fish. I got a voodoo cork. I'm gonna be throwing tandem gope uh, voodoo shrimp um, A lot of shad in the water, so I do have a voodoo shad on but let's go. Let's go. Let's go Gotta get on the horse and get to my spot or a spot. I don't actually own it. I wish I did. That'd be cool. All right, so I just had like the crap scared out of myself. You know, my camera is wet, my hands are wet. I'm just chilling right here. Look, my legs are all wet. The whole side of the kayak, I just rode right over. I wasn't ro I wasn't recording, but I just rode right over a gar and uh Woo, he scared the crap out of me. Lift him in front of my kayak up a little bit, and I got, I'm all wet. I'm like, my, you can see my shirt. My shirt's a little wet. I got splashed. Um, second guard rode over. I'm afraid, I was afraid of that. I was afraid uh, that I was running into a lot of gar out here. I, I'm, I don't really want to catch a lot of gar. I'm hoping there's not more gar where the spot where I'm heading to because uh, that could really put a damper on the red bite uh, but that was a big that was a big one I probably was probably like close to five foot decent size one so I'm gonna set up a couple of drifts I got the uh oh wrapped up 
I got a uh, the wind kind of blowing me in this direction so I'm gonna set up a couple drifts and see what I can catch kind of just drift this area just a little bit drift and let the wind push me kind of steady scanning the horizon and seeing if I see any kind of activity that will lead me to believe that there is predator fish I don't see any birds I don't see anything working I don't see any slicks so those are always like easy tells to tell you where to kind of locate you where the bait is, locate you where the fish is. So don't see any of that. So I am going to just blind cast and kind of work in the grid section. Let the wind push me, come back, let the wind push me, come back, let the wind push me over and over again until I can locate a school or maybe just a, a, a straggler or two of some redfish. Uh, when you are when you are drift fishing it's an easy way very easy way to uh, locate the fish and kind of see where they're at if I find them on one particular drift then I might do that drift again and again until uh, until I stop catching fish so just a great way to look and fish an area and target especially like in this case where it's just kind of an open area a uh, great way to fish an area that you're not familiar with a uh, new area just a great way to fish and it's it's um conserves the energy especially if you're in a paddle kayak or uh, a pedal kayak so i'm just doing some long casts and just doing a straight retrieve that's really all you need to do with a lot of these swim baits is a straight retrieve you can uh especially when you have these great lures like the voodoo shad you can give it a twitch or give it a pop every once in a while. You can add a chatter weight. You can add some scent just to try to uh, draw the bite in. A little bit of slick right here. Kind of smell it almost. I don't know if it was a wind slick or an actual slick. Let me... Smells a little like trout, might be reds. I'm trying to turn around now. But I'm making too much noise with the winds the waves splash on the side of the kayak. Somebody just bumped it. Maybe. Nope. Oh yeah, that was a... I think he's on. There he goes. Oh, he broke off! Oh my god! He broke me off! Dang it! Ah, that was a red. That was a red. Dang it! Ah. Ah, drag was too tight. Drag was too tight. Let me see if I can uh, retie. Yeah, but that was a red. I told you I could smell them just a little bit. It wasn't quite like a like trout, but it still smells like a little bit of bait. So that guy broke me off. Let me see if I can uh, hurry up and tie on. And I just put gulp on because what I what I was fishing with, I got a bad wind knot, so it kind of wrapped up uh, in my eye and pulled my eye off that rod. So. See if I could tie off real fast and, and get another one. But yeah, he broke right at my knot. So could have just been where I tightened the line up. So I could hurry up and get, get tied real fast. Where I tightened the line up and it could just burn the knot just a little bit. Oh, there's a gar. Could have been the gar. There's a gar right there. But just started hitting, just started cruising with it. So could have been a gar, but odds are it wasn't red but he hit down this darker darker gulp right here just saw a little slick pop up and smell a little fishy didn't quite smell like a like a school of trout smelled more like a school of red had a little bit of sweetness to it the scent did and then the smell did so i thought maybe i mean it could be maybe just a mix of trout and reds but um definitely was red we're gonna get back behind me and see if I can cast again on it. 
and I was just kind of just drift drifting over that area and I smelled it so let's see if we can get back on that hopefully at the school I didn't really disturb him that much I let him hit it and kind of take it away from from the area that I was targeting so let's see well I couldn't find where those reds were uh, the one that broke off I kind of did a few more drifts and cast a little bit I didn't see any more slicks I couldn't smell them anymore uh, so I'm gonna duck in this little spot over here and see if there's in this grass line see if I can find anything in the grass line uh, kind of just work the grass line a little bit because a lot of times bait will run into the grass line you know seeking shelter and a lot of times that's where the uh, predator fish will kind of hang out screw the grass screw it's not screw cruise the grass line and uh, try to pick off some bait so with the um, with seeing some shad first thing this morning uh kind of have a look look out for the uh, some more shad and you know those reds and trout and flounder all that stuff really likes shad that was a decent wake over there i think on that other grass line there we go that's not mullet <laughs> That's somebody feeding right there. I don't know what's going on there. I think it just might just be smaller stuff. Let's see if we can uh, push in here a little more and see if we can locate a couple reds back in here. That might might have been maybe feeding their filling their bellies at sunrise and hopefully still hanging around here. But yeah, I'm not seeing. I mean, like I said, the bait's getting scared. Just not for as shallow it is. You would, I think, you would see bigger wakes if it was a more desirable fish, like a like some slot reds. I'm not saying it's not. They could just be, you know, really just zoned in on that bait and not want to see anything else that you put in front of their face. So I'm gonna move a little bit more in and see if. You can get any reds in there just hanging out. Look at that. See how they kind of just exploded and moved right there? See how the darker clouds are? That's reds. You just exploded and moved on some, uh, on the mullet that were in the area. I just seen a decent blow up on this grass line. So I'm gonna get over here. Here without scaring anybody. Had a blow up on that grass line. Look at that. That was a red right here. See him? Had a blow up on that grass line and this grass line. Dang it. A little dust cloud in front of me. A little black dust cloud in front of me. Oh! That was one right over there. Dang it. Dang it, that's where they're at. I can see them coming through. It's a little too early. A little too early on my cast. Ooh, that was a big one. That was a big one. See him? That was a big one. See, that's why I didn't want to get too close to the grass line because I knew they were kind of, you know, hovering on the outside of this grass line and I wanted to get a little closer. And uh, I scared the heck out of that guy. That guy was not happy with me. Pretty scared. But yeah, that's kind of why I didn't want to get closer. I haven't wanted to get closer to the grass line, but I keep seeing these, you know, they just look like small juvenile reds, but that guy was a big, that was a big one. Can't give him a bite though, you know, throwing a couple different things and just switch back to this gulp again. And uh, can't get him to, can't get him cooperate. Oh yeah, see that's what I was hoping for right in there. That bait went in there and he uh, he was there to grab him. Woo! I 
touched that right on my line. Oh man, I touched him on my line. He's spooked to tell you, man. They are spooky today. Golly. Man. Touched my line and he haul butt. Man. Spooky. Let's cooperate just a little bit. Let me at least get a couple for the people's at home. Come home. People are working. I mean, today's a Tuesday. People at work today, man. Come on, Red. Cooperate just a little bit. Just a little bit. Entertainment value, you know. This can't just be a talking video. Kayak tour. I mean, come on. Help me out. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a couple. All we need is two. All we need is two. Come on. All we need is two. <laughs> Oh well, let's watch this via a skunk vid. Oh my gosh, can you imagine a skunk video? Y'all want to see a skunk video? <laughs> like, no, absolutely not. But thanks for thinking about us. Well, that is going to do it. That is a skunk video. No fish in the boat today. Oh my gosh, that was painful. Um, but yeah, I called it because, you know, this heat is just killing me. I, I started feeling nauseous. I feel like I'm going to throw up here. So I'm going to hightail it back to the launch and uh, get out of this heat. Get something in my belly um, because, yeah, I'm feeling pretty crappy right now. And it's like that. I mean, today's a heat index. Uh, I feel like temp's going to be about 114 degrees. So very, very hot day. Even if we do have a little bit of breeze, a little bit of wind. So this, the sun will still beat you up a little bit but thanks for watching guys uh tough tough day um you know we saw them we knew where they were uh, i found them i uh, broke off on one and couldn't get the others a bite but hey that is fishing still no other place i'd rather be you know um even though i forgot my lunch and that didn't bring anything to snack on uh I, i'd much rather be in a restaurant eating <laughs> But still, honestly, no other place I'd rather be. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You have to subscribe. But like if you like the video, if you enjoyed it. I know it's sometimes kind of tough. But, um, you know, I'm going to toss this kunk video up anyway. Just because I like you guys. I like you. And you know what? I know you like me too. <laughs> thanks again. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up.